This animation was made with the help of AI and After Effects. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can make a wider reel like this. You can download the full project on my Patreon. Before we proceed, let's talk about today's sponsor, which is Auto AE. So if you are a content creator and you don't have time or enough knowledge to create certain scenes, Auto AE can help you to do that. You can select one of the pre-made templates, customize it and download it for free. The good thing is that folks over Auto AE were generous enough to share a link with me and by signing into that you will get discount along with more free downloads. You can find the link down in the description. Now let's get back to our video. Well, here we are inside of Adobe After Effects and now let's begin. So here's the animation that I have made with the help of AI and After Effects. Let's just watch it first. In 2008, the market was cracking. Big firms were collapsing, but most people weren't paying attention. This kid, he was in his dorm room. No Bloomberg terminal, no Wall Street job. So on the first step, what I usually do in order to create these type of animations is that I use ChatGPT to create style frames right now in here i have a few style frames that i can show you so as you see this is the bank that i have used in the animation and these were the collapsing buildings and uh, as you see there are a few style frames in here that i use chat gpt to generate them and once these style frames are generated i usually use chat gpt and photoshop to extract the elements that i want from these style frames so let me show you really quick in here so as you see, here's the um, chat GPT panel that I have in here. I asked the GPT to sort of give me a few ideas on the style frames. And once this was done, I simply asked to, uh, you know, separate the elements. And once the elements were done, I have downloaded them and I used Photoshop, which is something you see in here to extract the elements and then I uh, save them as a PNG sequence and once it, it was finished I just ba basically imported them uh, as you see in here and these are just a um, you know bunch of elements and buildings for the animation so let me just show you how we can create the first scene so I'm gonna just create a new composition this is called main and I'm gonna use the style frame that we have as a reference so i'm gonna bring the first one in here this is good let's just scale it a bit up to here now i'm going to open the asset panel and then we're gonna bring the bank so as you see let's just set it on 3d duplicate it and then we can just push it back and readjust it like this so working with the you know style frame has its own advantages. Something that we can do a lot of time is that we can just, uh, you know, replace the elements really faster without thinking too much about how we are how we are going to rearrange them. And we can just change the blend modes if we want to. Let's just set it on soft light. Uh, yeah, and we can just uh, decrease this opacity. And let's just remove the style frame so we can see it better. Uh, I'm going to create a background. Let's just call it BG. And let's just add a gradient ramp. This will give us more room to change the colors and make it better. Okay, now let's just select the banks. And this is fine. Uh, Okay, lighter color seems fine. But let's just decrease its opacity so we focus on the main subject, which is in, which is the front bank. All right, so this is the basic thing. Now, one thing I usually do when I'm working with AI is that I don't always rely on the AI itself, and every time that I can feel that I can import something new into design, I just gonna, I'm just gonna do that. So, for example, in this scene, as you see, the reference was a solid tree, solid banks. But what came into my mind was that to add the 2008 as a coin. So I basically made that asset in AI again, and I used the Photoshop to remove the background. And now what we can do is that we can just bring it in here and we can use the extrude plugin to sort of make it 3D. 
and right now this is going to be the coin as you see super simple and we're gonna just do a simple animation so mainly that we are using the png sequence and it's not going to affect how we are working is because when you are creating wire reels you usually are spending your time animating the objects with simple uh, you know transform properties or the uh, sort of the mask property you you are not spending a lot of time in uh, you know other complex stuff such as you know path keyframe path keyframe animation or frame by frame so everything is simple and therefore you can use ai in a really convenient way to create your animations and create unique scenes for yourself so let's just apply the standard easings and let's just set on 65 percent influence and i'm going to use the motion tools to offset these keyframes for four frames and let's just hit this and this will offset it and as you see we need to sort of reverse these keyframes okay this is good but it's just not what we want at this point still let's just extend the keyframes a bit and i'm gonna push it in here okay this is good now what i'm going to do is that i'm just gonna select the coin I'm gonna push it in here so when the banks are coming up we also animate these coin as well nice and let's just also give it a one entire rotation but that should be a longer time the distance between the keyframe we should set it on longer okay this is good but as you see we have some movement in here and that is because we didn't push this a bit back it is interfering with the main element so i'm just gonna push it back okay now what we are going to do in order to replace uh, sort of this mess that we have at the beginning is that I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and I'm going to add the camera, camera lens blur effect and we can just increase the blur radius first to let's say something like mm, 35 should be good and then for the entire one second we can just uh, set on zero something that you saw on the Beginning, beginning of the video now it's just a matter of time adjusting these coins so I'm just going to cut the beginning of it so we don't see them at the beginning alright so now this was the basic animation but however we can just make it better by adding a ground into it so if I reveal the original star frame that we have in here so you see that we have a solid glow happening on the ground and it's pretty simple to make that all we need to do is that we need to select the circle tool and then let's just give it a color mm, possibly orange and I'm gonna draw an old shape like this and then we're gonna use the fast box blur to blur it like this and then we go, we're gonna push it beneath the bank layers I'm gonna set it on 3d and now what we can do is that we can just simply go towards the new and I'm gonna add a new camera and the type is set on one node the preset is 50 millimeter and we're gonna add a null object and this null will be the camera controller all right so now what we need to do is that we're gonna pan it the camera to camera controller and we're gonna add a solid zoom in effect so basically let's just set the null on 3d and I'm just gonna zoom these elements to create a solid zoom in effect and also 
let's just pan it the and uh, let's say I'm going to call it low to the one of the bank accounts. So this, we don't see it at the beginning. All right, so, so far so good. Now, what we want to do is that we want to sort of create that splitting animation the cracking animation that you saw on the uh, reference so to do that is super simple what we need to do is that when the animation let's assume it's here i'm just going to select these four layers and i'm going to press ctrl plus shift plus d to create a duplicate of it and let's just change their colors so it doesn't interact with the the ones that we have before okay now when it's in here all i want to do is that i'm just gonna Remove the keyframes on the position and this is so less so you guys can see better. And then I'm going to use the pen tool to sort of create a mask around the shape. Okay, so this is the mask and I'm going to duplicate this bike layer. And then I'm just going to go towards the mask session and I'm going to enable the invert option now we have two layers in here so which we can just use the position and the rotation for each of these layers so i'm just gonna go a few cycles forward and then i'm gonna just get this one and i'm gonna push it towards here let's just also play with the orientation and let's just orient it like this and then we can just again do the same thing for the second one. So let's just push it in here, orient it a bit. I think it's just too much. I'm gonna just set it on linear this time to have the movement as slow as possible because we're gonna do a match cut and later on. Okay, this is super nice. And you can do the same thing for the other layers uh, you know such as this uh, bank account that we that we see in here let's just reveal it you can just do the split if you like to, if you want to but I'm just gonna use the orientation and and these so let's just right now this is oriented And then you now push it like this. So these are super mandatory. You can you know, you know decide how you want to uh, animate these elements. So the same thing um, for the sake of saving time and making this tutorial uh, shorter. The same thing that you can do for the coin is just sim similar. You can just draw a mask like it, and you can just control how you know things are moving in here so once you have done that the last thing that is left to showing you how you can recreate uh, recreate this scene is that you need to be able to add some effects in order to make that uh, you know scene look more realistic right now as you see it's just some elements are just moving like this so what I did in order to create that uh, sort of lighting effect is that I used uh, a lighting. It's just simply a lighting effect. Let's just scale it down so you guys can see better. So this was the, basically the lighting that we had. And I used a tint effect, a uh, triton, basically, to turn it into orange color. And then I have changed the blend mode from the normal to the screen. So something like this. A strike is coming and everything gets splitted. So let's just fix that strike exactly on here. Now, in order to make it better, what we can do is that we can create a new adjustment layer. And I'm going to just set this adjustment layer for five frames. And I'm going to just push it in here. And I'm gonna 
add the minimax effect it's basically to create a glitch for the composition so i'm going to change the operation to minimum then maximum let's just set the radius to 35 and let's just set it on just vertical or we can just change it to horizontal i think this this looks better and once that that you know mm, the lighting suspicious beneath the lighting we see that this happens let's just adjust the thing here what i'm gonna do is that i'm just gonna add another adjustment layer in here let's just move it exactly in here and this time we can use the effects um, such as let's say uh, invert and you can just change for example the channels to one of the colors that we find is suitable for our designs so i basically use the one of these colors So it was something like this. So when the animation is happening, we had that bank sort of ripping apart. And then we just switched into the last scene like it was to, so as you see in here, let me just show it to you. You see that everything was shown and then we had that lighting and everything was falling apart. And then we had a simple rough cut to the next scene. Alright, so here we are at the end of this video and I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave out a like and subscribe to the channel as it would help me out a lot. Thank you so much. Goodbye.